I showed you how you can create a basic knit skirt pattern in Cloth 3D in this video. But now I'm going to show you how to create a skirt sloper in Browseware from scratch. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham, digital fashion specialist, teaching digital fashion design and communication. If you like geeking out and learning about digital fashion design software and design communication, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So we already saw how to create a basic skirt in Clo, but how do you create a basic skirt pattern from scratch in Browseware? Let's talk about it. To start any skirt pattern, you need four measurements. Waist circumference, hip circumference, the distance from the waist to the hip, and skirt length. In Browseware, right mouse click over the avatar in the 3D window and choose Edit Avatar to get the waist and hip measurements. In the context panel, make sure measurements is selected and scroll down to the torso section. Listed there are the body measurements of the waist and hip. I want the skirt length to be 20 inches, which is about knee length. And I didn't take the exact measurement of the distance between the waist and hip, but it usually falls between seven and 10 inches. So I'm going to make this about eight and a half. To start the pattern, navigate to the 2D window, choose insert, and from the options below that, choose rectangle. Then, like Illustrator's rectangle tool, click in the 2D workspace and an options box will appear that will allow you to type in the exact dimensions of the width and height of your box. Before you do anything else, make sure you click on the little chain to break the link between the two numbers. Now when we create this, we're going to be creating a front and a back and then virtually unfolding them. So your width measurements will be divided by four. I rounded up the waist and hip width measurements and we're going to use the widest point, which is the hip. So the hip width is 39 plus a half for ease for a total of 39 and a half. Divide that by four and you get 9.875. And the height will be the length of the skirt, which is 20 inches. Next, let's insert a point to make the hip height. Choose the pen tool, edit points, and then move your cursor down to the side of the rectangle to add a point. I usually try to read the numbers and make the point close to my desired number, but even if you don't, once you make the point, you can double click it and type in exactly where you want the point to be placed. Now I'm going to change the width of the waist. Now in this skirt, I'm adding darts to the front and back and the width length and placement of your darts will vary depending on the body you're fitting, but the numbers I'm using now are good starting points. To figure out how much to move the line, take the difference between the hip and the waist measurements, subtract the width of the darts, I'm using one and a quarter for the back darts and one inch for the front darts, and then divide that number by four. I know you probably didn't think you'd be doing math in this video. So after all the math, I'm left with 1.187 inches, which is one and three sixteenths. And I'm going to choose select, make sure edit points is turned on, select the point, and in the transformation area of the context panel, type 1.187 in the X area to move it to the right. Now the side seam on a skirt pattern tends to be a little longer than the rest of the pattern. So we're going to again, select the point and in the Y area, type minus 0.375. And the negative moves it upward. Without the negative sign, the point would move downward. Okay, so now all of our points are in the right places and the widths are correct, but the pattern is very angular. So now we want to change a few of the points to curved points so that we can give the pattern a little more curve, much like you would if you were changing a corner point to a smooth point in Illustrator. And the handles even work like they do in Illustrator. So change the point at the top of the side seam and the point at the hip to curved points and use the handles to add more curve to the lines. 
Next, I'm going to mark the center of the waist so I have a guide for dart placement. So like when I mark the hip, do the same process to mark the center of the waist. Now, create a copy of the front to use it for the back. And before you proceed any further, label each piece so that you can easily tell the front from the back. Add the darts using the dart tool. Choose insert, dart, and then place the cursor at the guide point we created and click. Adjust the width and the length of the dart by going to the transformation section of the context panel. The front dart width will be one inch wide and four and a half inches long. And the back dart will be one and one quarter inch wide and five and a half inches long, one inch longer than the front dart. Now, let's unfold the patterns. Click on the center front line, right mouse click, and from the menu, choose Create Edge Symmetry. Not only does this unfold the pattern, but it also creates symmetric editing. So if you change anything about one side of the pattern, it will automatically update the opposite side. Do the same for the back. And normally you'd have a center back zipper, but for the purposes of this demo, we're just going to keep it simple. Next, arrange the patterns. Tap the arrange button to change to the arrange window and drag the front and back patterns to the appropriate view and area to arrange the patterns on the 3D avatar. As you drag the pattern to the mannequin, you'll see a generic shape highlight with a word like left leg, right leg, etc. Look for the skirt shape and text, then move the pattern if necessary so it's placed closest to where it should be placed on the body. Once you arrange, you'll probably need to adjust the placement a bit, so choose prepare and use the gizmo in the 3D window to move the pattern around and make sure it's appropriately placed, aligned with the other pattern piece, and does not collide with any body parts. Last thing you need to do before you dress the avatar is to sew the side seams together. So choose stitch, Click one side seam and its corresponding side seam, it will be sewn to. And that's all you need to do since the pattern pieces have edge symmetry. And now, tap the dress button to see the avatar dressed in your skirt. And she looks pretty good. Now keep in mind, you're probably going to have to perfect the fit. Wovens aren't as forgiving as knits, so once you start adding darts and a woven fabric, you'll have to understand how to fit your skirt. But this is a great starting point to get your sloper perfect. And then you can use this as a guide for any skirt designs you create in the future. Thanks for watching today's video. Keep your eye out for our beginner 3D courses as well as private tutoring. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.